any dog owner and they'll tell you that their four-legged companion is more than just a pet. They're now part of the family. So while everyone reiterates the importance of child safety in cars, what about the safety of another kind of baby? You know, the furry kind? Well, we're here at Chevrolet Commonwealth with the 2015 Captiva to demonstrate important tips on pet comfort and safety. And joining us in this segment are two very special guests, Almond and Biscuit, my very own pugs. The first and perhaps the most obvious tip is to make sure they're comfortable in the car. This starts out by having a vehicle that provides ample space for your dogs and their stuff. For smaller dogs like Almond and Biscuit, a crossover like the Captiva is good enough. But just like kids, if you've got a growing family or larger breeds like a St. Bernard, then perhaps it's a great idea to invest in a bigger ride, maybe like the Chevrolet Trailblazer. Before setting off, it's best to modify your dog's feeding schedule with a light meal 3-4 to four hours before departure. This reduces the chance of him feeling uncomfortable on the road. Then, bring a feeling of home into the car. Try recreating a familiar environment for your furry friend by bringing along his favorite toys and blankets and what have you. Just as you would pack for yourself, pack everything that your dog would need. Once you're both ready to roll, always remember to keep him away from the driver's seat. Your dog may be your co-pilot, but he won't be doing any of the driving. Keep your dog away from your lap and out of the front seats, as this may cause doggy distractions. Next, given the VIP treatment, driving opens up a lot of stimulation for your dog, so it's best to keep on the side of caution. Keep him safe in a proper carrier, or better yet, restrained with a pet harness like this one attached to his seatbelt. Then teach your dog to like driving. Make him go on short trips for him to acclimatize before taking him on longer trips. And of course, reward good behavior by giving him treats. On longer trips, don't forget to keep your dog hydrated. Since you're behind the wheel, you can stop for a break at any time you need. But your dog can't tell you when he gets thirsty. Make sure you stop regularly to give him plenty of opportunity to hydrate or relieve himself. Finally, don't bail on your buddy. We all know the feeling of getting into a car that's been baking in the sun. Leaving your dog in a car while you run errands poses a serious risk to your pet's health and safety. Plus, it's totally not nice. If you have to leave your dog for a few minutes, make sure he's got some proper ventilation and water to stay cool. Dogs like children love to ride in cars, especially if they're comfortable and spacious like the Chevrolet Captiva. Always remember that you have to be a responsible fur parent to your lovely fur baby. Well, I hope you learned something new this week. If you have any questions you'd like to ask me or see more of these two furry guys, feel free to follow me on Twitter or Instagram at CarGuidePH. This is Ulysses Ang for Wheels TV. Until next time. Here at the University of the Philippines, Diriman Campus, for a very special inauguration. It's the UP Electric Trike, which they call Econ. So I want you guys to come aboard one of these because they're pilot testing this and we'll see how it goes and let's get a quick evaluation. Come with me.